Hi Kitty Cats. Recently I've done quite a bit of shopping. I decided to put it all together in a haul video for you. First I'll go over the beauty side of things. I went to the body shop and I picked up a few things. When I was younger at one point I suddenly decided I'd use a cleanser and a toner as I was wearing quite a lot of makeup at school. I never wore as much as most people but I was wearing a lot more than I usually did and I thought it's probably not so good for my skin so I wanted a cleanser and toner. And I bought some and I used them but I really don't remember them being that great. And they weren't from the body shop but then I decided this time that I'd try the body shop. When I got there I realised that they had four different types and scents and one was for dry skin, one was for oily skin, one was for blemish prone skin, and one was for sensitive skin. I ended up picking up the sensitive skin one and also the blemish prone skin one. They were reduced as they came in sets together. The ones that were for sensitive skin were the aloe range, and this is the aloe calming facial cleanser and I have used this today and I found it was quite nice on my skin and I didn't have any irritation so it was good for sensitive skin and I also have the aloe calming toner which I put on afterwards and lastly the aloe soothing day cream which I put on after that so I've used all of these today and I did like the feel of them so I'll let you know how it goes and maybe they'll end up in a favourites video later on. Just as a quick side note I also picked up the aloe lip care which is for sensitive skin. Now I have real issues with my lips they get dry and chapped so so easily so I've tried a million and one things. I do find that Palmer's Cocoa Butter, that works well, and I've also found Body Shop's Vitamin E Lip Care product, that works well too, but I wanted to give this one a shot and see if it works any better. And I did try it and it did seem to work pretty well, although it has that kind of consistency of a lip gloss, Sorry, my mum's hoovering if you can hear that. So it's a little bit sticky, which I don't like as much, but it was okay. I'm not sure if I'd be repurchasing. So the other range I got was the Tea Tree range from the Body Shop. So this is the Tea Tree Skin Clearing Foaming Cleanser. I haven't given this a try yet, but I'll let you know how it goes. I also got this one that you have to shake a lot otherwise it gets all collected on the bottom which is the Tea Tree Skin Clearing Toner which I can use afterwards. I have tried this and that, I love the scent of it, it's so good. It made my skin feel really really nice. I did also put on the Tea Tree Skin Clearing Lotion afterwards and my skin felt very soft. And I did actually notice when I woke up this morning that my skin was a lot clearer. So I'm not sure if it's due to using this range or if it's due to me using this product. This is a new product by Body Shop, which is called Drops of Youth Bouncy Sleeping Mask. It looks like this. It's actually such a pretty bottle. I love it. Um, and it's amazing. If you touch this, I'm not sure if you'll be able to see, but it kind of bounces and it doesn't come off on your finger. It's really bouncy, sorry I'm going to end up spilling it on my bed. But it's amazing and you have to use a spatula to get it off and get it on your skin. Um, but yeah, nothing on my finger just kind of mm, smells lovely too. But I put this on before going to bed on my face and it just kind of sinks in and you put it all over and at first it feels slightly oily but then overnight it sinks in and in the morning my face felt amazing it felt so soft and kind of alive so as it's a little bit more on the expensive side of things I will not use it every single night but I will use it if I'm finding my skin's feeling really rough and dry or if I'm going somewhere special the day after as I bought all those products from the body shop, I got this one free, which is the Elderflower Unperfumed Eye Gel. This, I'm not 100% sure if I like it or not. You put it on your eyes and it just kind of cools them and relaxes them. It pretty much does the same thing as if you had two cucumber slices on your eyes, 
so it's not really worth buying for that reason because you might as well just buy a cucumber. I did feel it was kind of soothing and it was nice but I did find it a little bit sticky which again I'm not a big fan of sticky things that's why I don't particularly like lip glosses and your hair just keeps getting stuck to it. Now the majority of my clothing haul actually came from H&M as I find it really good value for money. I find that it's on the cheap side of things but most of what I buy from there lasts so a lot of what I'm going to show you is from H&M but we'll start with the other shops first. I got one skirt from Boohoo, it's kind of like a flippy skirt and I really like the pattern it has on it, it's black and white and it kind of is embossed like you can feel it. I like how the lines are kind of curved like that because it makes you look thinner basically. <laughs> the next product I bought was from Topshop, it was in the Goldie range, I think it's a brand from Topshop and I just find this really sweet. It's really soft material but fairly thick and I like the lines on it and I really really like this pleating kind of design. I think it's beautiful and I really really like this skirt. Now I'm not 100% sure where I got this skirt from. It is not my usual style and I would have much preferred if this band was just black, plain black and not black, white and then black again because the way it is, I tend to put my tops over the top of the band to not show it because I dislike it, but I do really like the peach colour and I like the pleats. So it says Fashion Union. I think it's from ASOS, but I'm not 100% sure because I bought it a while ago. Now I'm on to the H&M stuff for the rest of the video. There is quite a lot to get through. This makeup bag, I really like the design. I think it's super cute, just one compartment inside. Sorry, I bent it a bit so it doesn't look so great on that side but it looks good on this side so you can also get it in a coral kind of colour but I prefer this colour as you can see it goes with my room perfectly. I also bought a few hair accessories. I always get these hair bands from H&M because I love them. I got a brown pack and I also got a black pack. I've seen Zoe from the YouTube channel Zoella buy loads of these scrunchies with the bows on top and I just find them super adorable so I bought two of the same kind because there were two other patterns but I didn't like them as much and I really like this pattern so I bought a couple of them so hopefully I'll be able to wear them soon. I also bought this hairband. Now you wouldn't think it was very nice but once I put it on it looks so so much better. I've not put this on perfectly because I've not really given myself much time to do it, I just put it on straight away. But look how cute it is, it's like little peach rosebuds and I just find it really sweet and summery so I decided to buy it. I do like it quite a lot. I'm not sure how exactly I would style my hair with it but I do like it so. That I also got from H&M. Now the last of the accessories are sunglasses. I bought two pairs of sunglasses this one and this one. This is black and this is more of a brownie beige. Now I bought these originally. Personally I don't suit sunglasses at all in general. I think it's probably because I have quite big eyes and it blocks them out completely. <laughs> but I found that this brown colour, it's similar but it clashes with my skin tone because it's not exactly the same. But I do still like these. I think they look good against my hair. But because the colour just wasn't exactly right, I went back to H&M and I bought the black version. And they're not exactly the same sunglasses, but they are very, very similar. I do feel that the black sunglasses suit me a lot better. I don't think they look as great against my hair though, so what a conundrum. Lastly, there are the clothes that I bought from H&M. I bought this denim jacket because I think it's actually probably my favourite thing out of everything I bought. It's got copper buttons which I find beautiful and it's kind of liney and it's light blue and white which I really like and I like that they've kind of roughed it up a little bit too in places. I just really like the look of it. It's very summery too because of the um, pale colours and I'm really into pale colours at the moment especially baby blues, mints and pale pinks and peaches. I then also got this cardigan. Lots of people seem to be buying cardigans from H&M at the moment because they have a ton. I got this one in mint, if you can see it there, and it's got little mint buttons. They're very cute. 
you'll see from the rest of this, I really like mint at the moment. <laughs> I also got these shorts which are black and they're just kind of wafty. They're really nice material and they have little mint palm trees on them. Guess what? It's mint again. I also got these shorts and they have a gold button. And here we go, the last mint thing. <laughs> I also got this top from h and This is the cutest top ever. I want to get it in cream or white. They sell it in as well and black because I honestly think it's the nicest top ever but I'm gonna wait until I have a bit more money and can afford it. They just really like the pattern on it and it's kind of lacy. It's lined underneath and I really really like the straps. Look how pretty the straps are. I love them. It's very summery and that's why I liked it. It's kind of a crop top but I wear it with high waisted jeans so you can't really tell. I then also got this top in black because I really liked these top bits, how they're kind of crossed. The only problem I find with this top is it's a bit see-through, so I have to wear a strappy top underneath. I also got the same thing in a bit of an out there kind of pattern. It's yellow and navy blue and it's kind of like palm tree leaves. Usually I would hate this top, but for some reason the colour kind of suits me. I do suit yellow quite a lot, and I just, I don't know, I felt impulsive and I bought it and then I tried it on and really liked it. Sometimes that's how you need to buy things. <laughs> So that's it for my clothing haul. I hope that video made you smile. If it did, please press the like button down below. Thank you so much for watching. I make new videos at least every two weeks, so click subscribe to my channel and follow me on Tumblr to receive regular updates on my upcoming videos and also just to find out a bit more about me and see my interests and see some happy posts. <laughs> I love you all. Bye kitty cat. My mum's decided to do the hoovering right outside my door, so it's really not. <laughs> uh, well, it's wrapped around my fingers. Oh, I'm trying to look around the sides for the name, but it's on top. <laughs> I got what I'm for my clothing. Oh, I hate the end of clothing hauls when you have to put everything away in your cupboards again after you just got it all out and it was all put away neatly beforehand. Fiddly bop. <laughs> this is the first video in the series, five rants about education. My first issue with education, uninspiring teachers.